the Kabir Sahib is here to bless. Ek achambha dekha re bhai, thadha singh charave gai, pahile poot paache bhai mai, chela ke guru lage pai, Jalki machari tarvari biahi Pakadi bilai murgai khai Belahi dari guni ghar ai Kuta kun lagai bilai Talikar sakha Upari kar mool Bahut bhati jad lagai phool कहें कबीर या पद को बूझें ताको तीनों त्रिभुवन सूझे कनिका है सेंट दिस ओवर ब्रदर आई हैव सीन सम एस्टोनिशिंग साइट्स अ लायन कीपिंग वॉच ओवर पेस्चरिंग काउस अ मदर डिलीवर्ड after her son was a guru prostrated before his disciple, fish spawning on treetops, a cat carrying away a dog, a gunny sack driving a bullock cart, a buffalo going out to graze sitting on a horse, a tree with its branches in the earth, its roots in the sky, a tree with flowering roots. This verse, says Kabir, is your key to the universe if you can figure it out. Acharyji, I have read this multiple times. Each reading bewilders me more. Kabir Sahib says that it's your key to the universe. If you can figure it out, this is ringing in my head. Is Kabir Sahib talking about the different shades of Prakriti? A guru prostrated before his disciple and a tree with flowering roots have left me totally blank. Kindly show some light on the above verses. Deepest gratitude, Kanika Chaudhary, Mumbai. No, no, it's not the way the universe is. It's the way we live. It's a commentary on the ego. It's the way our world runs, not the world. It's the way the world of the ego runs, our world runs. So, Ek achambha dekha re bhai, thada singh charave gai. A lion keeping watch over pasturing cows. That's the way our world runs, no? If there is somebody who is keeping watch over you, you usually feel that the fellow is your well-wisher. Hmm? Prakriti is honest. In Prakriti, a lion would never watch over grazing cows. The lion would simply take away one of the cows, leave the rest, satisfy himself and be gone. Therefore, when such a thing is represented in Prakriti, it appears so odd. It appears so odd, Kanika, that you have been compelled to ask me a question. In Prakriti, this would never happen because Prakriti is straightforward. Lion wants the cow, lion eats the cow. That's how Prakriti is. Therefore, when in Prakriti you are told that lion is watching over the cow, you feel perplexed. That's the motive of Kabir Sahab, to make you feel perplexed. Because you do not feel perplexed looking at yourself. Therefore, he is saying, what if Prakriti too starts behaving like you do? Then you do feel perplexed, right? You are never befuddled the way you are. 
यू आर नेवर अमेज बाय द वे योर पर्सनल यूनिवर्स इज सो कबीर साहब सेंग वॉट इफ द प्राकृतिक यूनिवर्स ऑल्सो स्टार्ट बिहेविंग लाइक योर पर्सनल यूनिवर्स देन द प्राकृतिक यूनिवर्स वुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड ही गोज ऑन टू गिव एन एंटायर डिस्क्रिप्शन यू गेट दिस ही सेंग इफ द प्राकृतिक यूनिवर्स वर टू बिहेव लाइक the personal universe of human beings then this is how the prakritik universe look and it looks very very odd it looks very perplexing it is absurd it is annoying it is terrifying it is terrifying but it looks terrifying when it is demonstrated in the dimension of prakriti then you find it terrifying but when the same thing is happening in your home then you don't find it terrifying right now you see why kabir sahab didn't talk of your home he talked of the jungle we are blind to what is happening in our home so kabir sahab says if the jungle were like your home then this is what would be happening in the jungle our home is so dear to us our home is so close to us that we just cannot see what is really going on in our home that's our personal universe so kabir sahab doesn't bother to tell you what is really happening in your home he says let's say that the jungle starts behaving like your home if the jungle starts behaving like your home this is what you would find happening in the jungle what is it that you would find happening in the jungle the lion is very carefully very compassionately watching over the grazing cows and the cows are thinking oh the lion is our well-wisher but what does the lion want he wants the cow to be a little fat that's how it is even in our homes kanika it's just that we do not know the way it is in every home there is a lion and there is a cow and the lion keeps watching over the pasturing cow and the cow thinks oh my lion my supporter my man you know <clears throat> sheer singh of the family and the cows of the family are so happy we have a sheer singh amongst us and the sheer singh is actually protecting the cows as well if some hyena or jackal or some wolf were to come towards the cows what would sheer singh do sheer singh would simply roar away the wolf or the jackal you go away my cow don't you dare look at my cow but the wolf knows much more than the cows do the wolf is an outsider but he at least knows the real relationship between sheer singh and the cow and therefore even as he is being chased away he just pauses for a while turns back looks over his shoulder and says to sher singh ha ah, akele akele would you enjoy her all alone and the sher says go be and even as the wolf is running away he says apna bhi time aayega <laughs> because sher singh you are not there to just compassionately watch over her you have a purpose what the grass is to the cow the cow is to the lion <laughs> it's just that the grass is not full of images and expectations the grass just passively sits and when the cow comes 
the grass says, all right, have me. I know who you are. So a big part of my being is hidden safely below the surface. Graze me as much as you want to. When you go away, I will reappear. The grass is smarter than the cow. She at least keeps her roots hidden. The cow, she falls so much in love with Sher Singh that she exposes all of herself. The grass can only watch the foolishness. Pahle put pache bhai mai. A mother delivered after her son was. This pertains to how we reason out and create an entire cause effect story. In Prakriti, the mother comes first and then the son. But look at our universe. The action comes first and then the justification. But we say that the action came from the justification. The action comes first and then we dream up arguments to justify the action. Does it not happen that way? The action is really coming from the subconscious tendency. But we don't want to admit that. So what do we do post the action? We come up with a nice argument to justify the action as if the action is a product of the argument, the justification. The fact is, the child came first and then the mother was invented. The mother was invented to justify the child. The real mother is somewhere else. The real mother is the eye tendency. But you don't dare to admit that. So you come up with a fictitious mother. And you say, you know, this is why I am doing this. Cheer Singh will say, I love you so much that I must have you inside me. I cannot bear this separation. Kamala. Kamala, this physical separation is too much. That's why I repeatedly want to have intercourse. But even there, our bodies get to meet only briefly. The depth of association is not much. So I now want to have you fully inside me. Tu mujh mein sama jai. As the Sufis say. And he will go to her and teach her, you know. Fana is a very high state of spiritual dissolution. Now is your time to reach Fana in love. And what greater end can you meet? Come unite with the lover. Are you getting it? The tendency is just to have flesh. But a justification is invented. And then it is claimed that the action is coming from the justification. Pahle put pache bhai mai. When it happens in our homes, in our universe, then we don't find it strange. But if it starts happening in prakriti, then you will see this kind of an oddity. The child is there and after the child is born, the mother is born. And then you will say, oh my God, what Kaliyug? The child is born and the mother is younger than the child. But that is happening every day in our personal universe and we never find it odd. Getting it? Hmm? Then... Chela ke guru lagai pai. If you start seeing that, 
then you will say oh too bad the guru is prostrating in front of the student what is going on he will times but that is happening all the time in man's universe there is no teacher worth the name who has not prostrated in front of the disciples the disciple prostrates externally he will say oh, guru brahma guru vishnu this is just physical external for name sake it is the teacher who is actually prostrating in front of the disciple please listen to me for a second can you please give up your prejudices once in your life can you please pay attention but our eyes see only the external and seeing the external they are happy and satisfied they will say all is well all is as per course and order the students are paying obeisance to the guru this is what the eyes see but what is really happening the guru is all the time requesting the student touching his feet flattering him nudging him entertaining him but that is not obvious just as what is obvious to the grass is not obvious to the cow jal ki machhri तरवरी ब्याही पकड़ बिलाई मुर्गे खाई बैल ही डारी गूने घरे आई कूता कू लै गई बिलाई ऑल दीज फोर इंस्टेंसेज रिफर टू एन अप एंडिंग और ऑफ द नॉर्मल ऑर्डर इन प्रकृति द नॉर्मल ऑर्डर हैज बीन इन्वर्टेड अपेंडेड जल की मछरी तरवरी ब्याही द फिश इन द वॉटर इज रिसाइडिंग एंड प्रोक्रिएटिंग ऑन द ट्री टॉप्स पकड़ बिलाई मुर्गे खाई द कॉक हैज कॉट द कैट and devoured it bela hi dari guni ghari aayi the material the gunny sacks bora are leading the oxen as they are coming towards the house so the cart is leading the bull kuta ko le gayi bilai so the cat has now had its revenge hmm? getting it the cock or the hen took away the cat so the brother cat took away the dog now sher singh is in danger because the dog too will have his day hmm? as they say each dog has his day so the normal prakritik order is being shown to be reversed when it is reversed there then you say this is not proper this is against tao this is against rit 
This is against Rit. But when the same thing happens within man, then you do not find anything funny at all. In Prakriti, the one who is supposed to be higher up in the food chain must consume the one who is lower down and the reversal cannot happen. Inside man, that which is higher must lord over the lower and the reversal must not happen but it is always happening. The higher one must be given preference over the lower but that rarely happens. The lower wins, the higher loses. Tendencies win, thought loses. Thought wins, discretion loses. Mind wins, Atma loses. Influence wins, intelligence loses. And Kabir Sahib is Kabir Sahib, he is having a good time. Describing how we are. And even as he is very accurately describing how we are, he is also having fun at our expense. Kuta ku legai bilai. That's why you know I feel just like a fanboy in front of him. Who am I? A little fanboy. This utter flamboyance, this total carefree attitude. Where do you find God or Sanskrit or big words or scholarliness in this? Kuta ku gai bilai. And he has said everything. Such, such, such simplicity can come only from someone who has gone to the utter depth of it. So it is uh, it is both strange and revealing that in the same session in which while answering Parmeshwari I had to launch a broadside a tirade against the greats I feel honoured to say that when it comes to Kabir Sahab I am a A fanboy. Hmm? And now that you have sent this, this is going to resonate for a while. Pahle put pache bhai mai. So whenever somebody, anybody outside of me or maybe I come up with an argument to cover up an expression of what is essentially a vritti. This is what to be said. Pahle put pache bhai mai. Thada sher charave gai. Thada sher. So, the parents are fondly taking the little Chotu to school for admission. And from the car, the two of them emerge and Chotu is walking in middle of both of them. One hand with Sher Singh, the other hand with Sherni Singh. And they are both professing their love to Chotu and saying, now we are going to admit him in the school. Thadha sher charave gai. And he is going to stay for a while. 
एंड ऑब्वियसली चेला के गुरु ला गए पाई आई डोंट इवन नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस आई लिव दिस एवरी मोमेंट सो इट्स अ गुड थिंग टू पुट ऑन अ फेसबुक प्रोफाइल और अ व्हाट्सएप स्टेटस और समथिंग चेला के गुरु ला गए पाई जस्ट टू बी रिमाइंडेड ऑफ हाउ थिंग्स रियली आर I is live in deception. This is how things really are. Can you please, please send me the report, Anu? Chela ki guru lagay pai. Sixth reminder and a cute smile. <laughs> chela ki guru lagay pai. Kaun guru kaun chela? ना तली करी शाखा ऊपरी करी मूल बहुत भांति जड़ लागे फूल दिस कनिका कम्स एक्चुअली फ्रॉम चैप्टर 15 ऑफ द श्रीमद भागवत गीता या चैप्टर 15 श्री कृष्ण वेरी विविडली डिस्क्राइब्स this world as the banyan tree with its roots to the sky maybe kabir sahab is quoting from the gita maybe it is his own imagery but is it's interesting how these coincide and how the greats have always seen the world as an exercise in negativa negativa that reminds me of negatives you know before the digital age there used to be negatives in photography hmm and what was the characteristic of those negatives light was dark and dark was light light was dark and dark was light have you seen those negatives so it's a bit similar to negatives that's how shri krishna has described it that's also what kabir sahab means here what works in this world doesn't work there that's one way of looking at it it's an exercise in negative secondly the roots are up the flowering is down you are really coming from there you are really coming from there you are only flowering here and even if you want to flower here even if you want to blossom here then you must first of all take care of the root which is upwards if you do not take care of the roots then you cannot prosper on the earth if you do not take care of the sky you cannot prosper on the earth and then he says bahut bhanti jad lage phool so the flowers are there the roots are flowering but the roots are not where they are usually supposed to be their skywards skywards roots blossom those whose roots are in the earth they will just shrivel and die down those who feel that they are rooted in the earth those who feel that who that they belong to the earth will meet no prosperity and no blossoming whereas those who feel live as if they come from there as if they belong there as if they are rooted there 
they will rule the earth. Belong to the earth and you will be a beggar on the face of earth. Belong to the sky and you will rule the earth. The earth doesn't reward you for belonging to it. The earth rewards you for bringing the sky's message to it. You are like the sky's messenger to the earth. The messenger is greatly rewarded if he brings the message. If he brings the message, then he gets stuff, sweets, clothes, money, greetings, gratitude. But what if he starts living in the house to which he has brought the message? Then he is merely tolerated and after a time he is abused. His value does not lie in his existence. His value lies in the message that he brings. You too must live like the one coming from the sky and merely visiting the earth to deliver the message. If you are a visitor to the earth, you will be respected on the earth. If you live like a visitor, a mere visitor to the earth, then you will have great respect on the earth. But if you start living as if the earth is your home, then all you will get is neglect, abuse, disrespect, uprootedness. Kahen kabir ya pad ko bujhen taku tinyo tribhuvan sujhe. If you can know what has been said in these verses, then you have known the entire universe. That's what Kabir Sahib is saying. He plays with you. No? He challenges you, invites you and he says, if you can figure out what has been said, then you will be somebody. So try, try, try. Here's the lollipop. Now try. Come on, come on, jump over the hurdles. And there he is, standing behind all the hurdles, flashing the lollipop to you. Come, 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 jump over. Don't be shy. And when you say, no, 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 but these are just, you know, too high for me. I don't know what you mean by the cow, the grass, the lion, the fish, the ox, the dog, the tree. Too many things and... Too difficult for me, he said. Mm, one more. Not one world, but Tribhuvan. Here is a third one as well. You can have three of these sweet things. Just come over, come over. Hmm? And the fanboy says, okay, I'm coming. And he's not unfair. I duly do get my reward. Hmm? Acharya ji, going back to the previous verse, first and foremost, my gratitude to you for explaining such a serial verse to all of us. And in that verse, Kabir Sahib is saying that we're pretty much living serial lives we see that sometimes, we see the imagery and we're able to identify it. But then again, I'm back to the same old path of getting lost in the serial images. How to, how to distill my clarity and vision to kind of decipher that what is serial and what is real? The surreal will give you suffering. The surreal will deceive you. Your own tears are the test. See what pushes you into needless conflict. 
see what is it that promises and does not deliver see what is it that appears smooth and shiny on the surface but forbids any kind of deep probing it's easy the truth attaches no qualifications to itself so the truth has make it made it very easy for you where to find the truth if it were to be found somewhere it would have become difficult for you no you would have needed to go there and dig it out and where to find it everywhere and nowhere easy where does the truth end nowhere so if something ends somewhere it is false if something is found only somewhere in particular it is if something is having boundaries if something changes with time if something is a product of something if something gives rise to something if something is the opposite of something <laughs> truth has made it very easy for you very easy the fact is in the world stuff is difficult truth is the easiest easy but not common hmm? commonly it is very difficult actually it is very easy it is so easy that we miss it hmm? 